Oxidation is the interaction between oxygen molecules and all the different substances they may contact from metal to living tissue. The process of oxidation depends on the amount of oxygen present in the air and the nature it touches. Oxidation of silicon is achieved by heating silicon vapors in an oxidizing atmosphere. In semiconductor fabrication, thermal grown oxide is mainly used as isolation material. Two common techniques used for most transistors are local oxidation of silicon, locus, and shallow trench isolation, STI. These two techniques differ from each other through the process flow and final oxide shapes. Here, let us look into the local oxidation of silicon technique, locus. Firstly, a thin oxide layer is grown on the wafer, which is called the pad oxide. Then, a layer of silicon nitride is deposited used as an oxide barrier. Then, photolithography method is used to transfer pattern. The pattern is etched by removing the oxide layer. The result defines the active layer of the oxidation process. After the etching process, thermal oxide is grown. The oxide does not grow from the nitride but from the exposed silicon wafer. Finally, after the oxidation process has finished, nitride layer is being removed as the last step. This completes the isolation process. The main feedback of this technique is the bird beaks effect and the surface area which is lost to this encroachment. Since the locus structure is thermally grown, its fabrication has a simple flow and high oxide quality. Another technique used for isolation is the shallow trench isolation technique STI. This technique is preferred because it completely avoids the bird's beak shape. With high zero oxide field encroachment, this technique is more suitable for increased density requirements as it allows to form smaller isolation regions. The STI has the same beginning as the locus process. The first difference compared to the locus is that a shallow trench is etched into a silicon substrate. Then, pet oxide undergoes under etching process. Then, a thermal oxide in the trench is grown, which is called a liner oxide. Unlike locus, the thermal oxidation process is stopped after the formation of a thin oxide layer and the rest of the trench is filled with a deposited oxide. Then, the excessive oxide is removed with chemical mechanical planarization, CMP. Nitride mass also removed. The advantages of STI over locus is the isolation space reduction and the configuration space reduction.